Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rockhound. Today I've got something a little different. I recently went and visited the local rockhounding club. Actually, it's been a couple weeks, but I went and visited them and got to meet some of the people there, got to see some of the cool stuff. So I was the Grand Junction uh, Rockhounding Club. And I go there, very first time, and <laughs> I, I win the raffle and get a bunch of rocks. So I thought, why not just kind of do kind of an unboxing type situation and we'll take a look at these together. And at the same time, if we find anything that I need to cut open, I've got my saw up and ready so that I can go ahead and cut it open and show you what it looks like cut open as well. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to take a look and see what I, I won from the raffle. Yay. Oh, and just quickly how I'm doing this. I'm just going to put the camera on the mount and just kind of show it against the wall and I'll grab them one by one and just show them in front of that. Here's the first one. This is a really cool piece of agate. I think I think it called a tube agate. But yeah, that's really nice stuff. Look at that. That is beautiful. Here's the next one. Looks like a, a chunk of kind of an agate chalcedony something or other. So, because there might be something cool inside, I think I'll cut that one open. Cut it open. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. You can see a few things going on in there. Well, that's kind of fun. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I like that. So here's this piece, all polished up. Looks like an agate that they kind of tumbled or something. It's got little bits of glue in it for some reason. I'm trying to debate whether I should cut that one open. Hmm. Maybe. Think about it. Might even be a wood cast, limb cast. Not sure. This is a nice little slab of jasper. Nice. Kind of looks like the Indian blanket jasper a little bit from southern Utah. This little thing is pretty. A purple, kind of an agate, something going on here, maybe a little bit of amethyst. I don't know, I'm not familiar with it and it's been polished so it makes it difficult for me, but very cool. I like the color. Okay, we got a nice little piece of agate here, chalcedony. It's got a mix, kind of a yellowish orange and a colorless. I just opened a bag, a whole bag of polished stones that they gave, so here's a bunch of tumbled polished stones. That's some nice red agate there. You can see some nice banding there. Very cool. Here's another piece of that pink purple stuff. I wonder if this is, there's a mine here in Colorado where they, they get this like amethyst with layered agate or something. I wonder if this has something to do with it. I don't know, I'll have to figure it out. I think this is some of that tiger eye type quartz. Yeah that fibrous structure that quartz gets sometimes or is it rutilated i gotta look at it again but yeah i know it's called tiger eye a polished piece of petrified wood kind of the, <laughs> the gray stuff but it's still wood another piece of the purple very nice very pretty another piece of the tiger eye nice Ah, here's a nice little piece of agate. It's got a little bit of red-orange right here. I like that. And then the rest is kind of a white with black. Very nice, though. Another little piece of the agate. Nice. And I guess just some chalcedony. It almost looks like just quartz. Hmm. Either way, it's just a nice polished stone. This one has an old tag on it. Some agatized mahogany wood that was found in Missouri. Very cool. Hmm. Maybe someday down the road I'll think about cutting it, but for now I think I want to leave it as it is. <laughs> a little topaz crystal from Topaz Mountain in a bag. I got lots of this stuff. And... Looks like some aragonite from the Red Cloud Mine in Arizona. 
that's kind of lost, that's jumped off its perch. Okay. Interesting. And that's all there were in the bag, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, there was some neat stuff, some fun stuff in there, and I appreciate them uh, just giving them away to me from the raffle drawing. <laughs> anyway, it was a lot of fun, and remember, there's treasure everywhere.